James, the things that I said in my past video are not all true, and I wanted to come clean about it. I wanted to tell you the honest truth, so I'm going to start from the beginning. Um, so, James and everyone came in to the restaurant that I was working at, and he started flirting with me. And all of that was true. And then the next night he invited me to his hotel room and I went and we made out for an hour. Within the first seconds of kissing him, I realized I was not bisexual. But for me personally, I'm very shy, so it was hard for me to say I'm not enjoying this because he was a celebrity and it, it was hard on me. So I just kept going along with it even though it was uncomfortable for me, but I just didn't want to ruin his opinion of me. Keep in mind, he spent $500 on a separate hotel room for me, and I didn't want to make him mad or piss him off, so I pretty much pretended like I was enjoying it. The next day, he messaged me and we continued to talk. At that point, I already knew that I was not attracted to him, nor was I bisexual or gay. I knew in my heart that I was completely straight. And I, in all honesty, led James on because my friends and family pressured me so much to continue. They went on my phone and they typed stuff out and I just kind of let it happen. Like I said, I have a shy personality and I didn't want to let this opportunity go because everyone was telling me this is a big opportunity and just pretend to be gay, pretend to be bisexual for this. Even though in the back of my mind it hurt my mental, like my, it broke a lot of moral codes for me and it was hard, but I just kept going with it because I kept saying to myself, it's James Charles, like this is crazy, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity and I kept going with it. And then about a week after we met, on February 22nd, he had talked about flying me out for my birthday, and this is my 20th birthday. And at first my friends were like, go, go, no matter what, I know you're, you don't like him, but just go for it, go for the clout, use him, and I didn't want to use him. This part's true in the video, I pretty much said I am straight and I, you know, You've seen, the, you've seen the text, and we didn't talk for about a couple days, I'm not sure how long that is, but then he came back a couple days later asking for closure, and he snapchatted me, and we FaceTimed, and in that conversation, he pretty much went on to say that he thought I was bisexual, and I mean, I led him on to make him think that, so he's not in the wrong for thinking that. When he called me asking for closure, he went on to say that he's good at reading people, and he thought I was still bisexual, and I didn't say yes, and I didn't say no, but in his eyes, he thought I was attracted to him again. So that night, he offered to fly me out to it, LA again, and I went back and said no, I didn't want to use him for anything, and I, I declined his offer again. After me and James officially stopped talking, I started thinking, and again, with the pressure I was feeling from my friends and family, I thought I should try to get something out of this whole thing. And then the gauge situation popped up. Um, I just wanted to clarify, he, yes and no, he was talking to me and Gage at the same time, not exactly, he would block Gage and then talk to me, and then not talk to me and talk to Gage, so there weren't any direct moments where he was talking to both of us at the same time, and I want to clarify that. I was feeling a lot of pressure from my friends and family who was telling me to make a video and publicize it and gain followers, gain whatever I could from it, and so I did. And as soon as Tati's video released where she talked about me as the waiter, I saw it as a perfect opportunity to 
use to ride the wave of the hype and the clout that was going on around this situation and me being mentioned anonymously two times, I was just gonna run it up and make a video. In all honesty, we made the video and painted James Charles in a, in a light that wasn't right. He, we, we villainized him for our own good and that is wrong. And I am acknowledging that publicly now. When we had decided to make the video, James had me blocked on everything and I couldn't access any of the screenshots, any of the conversations. All of that was uh, blocked and I couldn't see it. So my friend decided to text him from a different phone saying it was me and explicitly saying that I was gay so that he would unblock me so that we could get the information to continue on with this video. And with that being said, I'm recognizing that as completely wrong. We shouldn't have done that. And I'm sorry, That's, it's, it's wrong and I'm acknowledging that now. So after he unblocked us and he thought that everything was good and I was gay now, we decided to go along with the video. And in that video, like I said, we painted him in a horrible light. All in all, I was in the wrong by painting James Charles in a bad light for my own benefit. I want to publicly and officially apologize to James Charles for the video. Um, thank you for watching. This is the true raw, uncut story of what happened between me and James Charles. And I hope this clears up, clears up a lot of loose ends because in my video, a lot of people were caching a lot of the, the, the loose ends that we forgot to clean up. And so here, we're giving the honest truth now. This should be everything. Thank you for watching. Um, I'm sorry. Did you fucking hear that? Did you fucking hear that? Boy, I'm a dox you. Dox you. Dox you.